Let's get, get prepared. prepared. Get prepared. Shh. Listen, Listen carefully, carefully and pay attention. attention. Yeah. Welcome back to my channel. Really, I can't find my voice this morning because something happened. But anyway, this video is a must do. I promise to make a beautiful video for you on this sleeve. It's a puffy sleeve with fitted, uh, pencil fitted hand and very big puffy sleeve. You can only achieve that through slash and spread. So stay tuned. Let's draft with paper, then place the pattern on our fabric and make the final cut. Give us thumbs up, okay? Don't forget to leave your comments in the comment section. I will appreciate. So now the first thing we do here is uh, because my pattern is small, my pattern paper is small, I have to join it with a masking tape. You can see I joined it to give me the bold one so that I can achieve what I want to achieve with it. So I'll have to fold it into two, fold it like this, and draft the sleeve first. I have to draft the sleeve. Okay, I have my tape here and my masking and my marker. Uh, there's what I call um, puff allowance. I normally use four for my puff allowance. And I mark on four. Then from here, I'll mark another four. That is from here now. If I'm getting making a shirt sleeve, I'll have to mark on my four. Then the length of my sleeve is... Uh, is at 20 yeah 20 so I'll have to join all these dots now and make a line for you to see a visible line this is length 20 don't worry that now zoom it up okay this is the shirts Shirt length, shirt sleeve length, and this is the okay shirt sleeve line, and this is a puff allowance line. Okay, this is puff allowance line. So my 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 client's upper arm is at eleven. I mark eleven, and uh, the round sleeve down here is at. 12 or let me use six and a half that is 13. so remember you can use your curve please get me curve there remember you can use your free hand you can still use your curve but in this case i will try to use my curve not this one the long one not that one the one the hair so this is it i have two curves here you can make use of both of them so i'll have to mark this like this okay this is my sleeve and i'll have to use this and make this sleeve okay So this is our sleeve, like normal sleeve. With this now, I'll cut it out, make my slashes, and spread it on the on the fabric. I think it's a simple method, but you need to follow me step by step. Get your pattern paper and draft along with me. Don't just watch me without making your own practice. Okay? So let's cut it. This is our sleeve pattern. So I'll now open it up from here. I have a, I need it to be pencil. Remember the length is twenty. I need it to be pencil up to up to let me see up to twelve. So I'll have to mark it. Mark it. 
I make it straight line. And if I need to I need it to be pencil up to this point. I don't want my slash and spread to exceed this point. I'll only slash and spread the upper side. So I'll have to divide here into two like this. Okay, then from here, I will have to divide like this, okay, like this, you can see I did not reach this line because I don't want my, my paper to cut into two, so I would like to stop it halfway. this and this so I cut it open don't mind me using uh, scissors I'm supposed to use cutter but my cutter is not around here okay to this point open it up easy so that you not cut it into two beds if you cut it in case you use a you use your masking tape to just hold this okay i have it open you can see the way it's looking now then from here i'll cut Did not reach the end, but it's remaining small. And from here, I cut again. Okay, I'll have to do the same by this side. And same here. simplifying my things these are the slashed lines you can see it's still a whole sleeve I've slashed it when I place my fabric now I'll place this on top of my fabric and spread it open does it look like magic I hope you are seeing it I've spread it over my fabric it's time to cut it you can use your affix pin or thumb, thumb, uh, thumb tack, okay, thumb tack, yes, to hold the the pieces in place. But for me, I have to use my masking tape because I that is what I have handy now. Let me mark it out. It's gonna look like this. Like this. That is sour. If you like now, you can remove it, but I'm not removing until I finish. Yeah, it looks like a three. Thank you for staying till this moment. Thank you, and please make sure you practice this. Don't just watch me and give us thumbs up. Thank you.